Welcome back guys to Tower Farms. What I'm gonna do today in this video <clears throat> is replace the seat on our tractor. We have a Ford 5900. It's an old tractor we've had for quite a while. And the seat is really just dry rotted, cracked, pretty rusty, about to fall apart. So I got online, started looking for some uh, tractor seats and I actually found one and it was the whole assembly. Um, and I was surprised it was like $120 for the whole assembly, the mechanical and everything under the seat. Uh, and it come in a box like this and the rest of it is over here. I've got on our wagon here. Um, and I was really surprised like this whole, like this whole, the whole seat mechanism and the nice new cushions. I thought that was a pretty good deal <clears throat> for a hundred and like twenty dollars. And I'll actually show you the company uh, <clears throat> right here. It is uh, Track Seats. And there's their information. And I just got it off eBay. Uh, I may put a link down in the bottom in the description. But it is really nice. Like the like the seat is really nice. Uh, I'll show you what we were working with. I mean, it's set out in the sun, and I'm pretty sure this is the original seat, and it's it's all dry rotted. This up here wasn't too bad, but it had blown out section over on that side. Uh, but this was bad. I mean the the metal's even showing right there, and it's very flimsy. Uh, so it's really easy to change out and, uh, I kind of just want to make a video about it and tell you, you can get nice tractor seats online. Just look them up. Uh, it's easy to take off and I'll kind of show you here. I've already got this seat off. Uh, and what I've done was there's this little lever you pull up on it and it lets you take the seat backwards completely off because this little lever lets you adjust it front and back. And if you just hold it up and take it all the way back towards the back, it'll come off. So the only thing you have to do first is over here where my hand's at, there's a little screw right there. That's a safety screw. And what that does is it prevents you from like sliding all the way back off of the tractor whenever you're adjusting your seat. So you have to pull that, like you have to unscrew that so you can get past that safety. There's like a little um, elbow in this bottom, this bottom plate I'm gonna keep on and just use it cause it's good. So I'll show you, I'm gonna take the seat off and then I'll bring you right back, okay? Okay guys, I'm back. So the seat's completely gone and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. Uh, the seat just slides on this rail right here. And there's this little, there's a little knot right there, a little knot right there and that safety screws, or that safety screw keeps you within that frame so it don't let you fall off the back of the tractor if you're trying to adjust your seat. Uh, and I'll show you the seat. This thing has been through a lot. Like I said, you can see the metal there and the cushions all. I mean, when you're spending all day, four, five, six, eight hours on the tractor, you got to have a comfortable seat. I mean, you're just going to wear your bum out really, really bad. And it's been so hot. I mean, we're on like two weeks of 90 degree days and we're gonna try to bush hog tomorrow, so I figured get it fixed today. Uh, but yeah, this one, it's about had it. What I could have done, and I tried to do this first, was just order the seat, just order this cushion, and then just order this. But I really couldn't just find that. Like the only thing I found was the whole, the whole assembly. And whenever I started looking, up under this old seat right here, these bolts that hold the seat on, there's four of them. They're completely rusted. And uh, 
like they are bad rusted uh and it's rusted through this metal so i figured just replace the whole thing and and it is completely set up the same way as the new one and i'll show you here's here's the assembly without the cushions on it the cushions are over here in the box i'm going to put those on here is this new frame there's that safety or that safety bolt uh, but is it it is nice it's in really good shape so i'm gonna go ahead and put this together i'll show you the pads here cushions there's the bottom seat very nice and then here's the back and the thing i like about the back this new one is this one if you look at it from the angle these are kind of folded back so and the new ones if you can see the difference the new ones are more angled in so it will like hug your sides a little better so like if you're on a hill or something i feel like it will hold you on the seat better so that is good and i think you might be able to see the difference like the old ones and the new ones they're just wrapped in a little more so it can hold you a little better on the tractor so i really like that uh, i'm gonna get these put on and then i'll bring y'all right back thank you okay guys i'm finishing up the seat i've got the top on the backrest and now i'm working on the bottom the butt pad uh only thing you really need is a 12 millimeter uh, socket and wrench and it helps you probably need a an extension because they are kind of hard to get up in there uh, and i'll show you and they're really easy i mean it the seat just sets on slides back into spot and the position and i'll try to make it so y'all can see this yeah so this is a 12 mil 12 millimeter that was getting kind of tight and there's two more up under there and those I'll probably have to do with a wrench. So I've got a little wrench, but I'll find something to make it work. And when I get it put on, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? It is really hot out here. I am sweating so bad. So I'm gonna get me a drink of Gatorade, finish up, and I'll bring you right back. See you. Okay guys, I'm done. It didn't take long. Um, just making uh, small adjustments on the seat took longer than putting it together. And one of those uh, bolts under the seat, the two that were up under the front I was showing you, they were hard to get to. I had to use, like, a, I didn't have a 12 millimeter wrench with me, so I had to make do with what I had. I had a pair of, like, needle nose pliers. I had to slowly do it. Uh, but I got it really, really tight. Uh, so just be warned if you get that, make sure you got a 12 millimeter small socket on you or a wrench, um, and have those tw that 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, uh, socket and extension, uh, to tighten everything else up. So here's the old one. So I'm going to show you the finished product. Here's the old one. It was pretty bad. Uh, seats gone, dry rotted. Uh, the adjustments for the back. Uh, this thing was about gone. It still, it still had a little bit of give. So if you don't know, these old tractor seats, they have a little bit of give to them. Most of them do. So here, without further ado, is the new one. And the blue is nice. I love the Ford blue. So that's always nice. It has a... A good cushion on it it's very nice i mean it's brand new so it's going to be nice for a while uh and these i like these really well because they they angle in and like i was saying a second ago and they they kind of wrap around you a little better so you won't go as side to side uh, but it went on really good i'll show you here uh, i used this bottom plate i didn't even replace mine Cause it was on there really good and it's the exact same one that it comes with 
Uh, this is the same way. You just lift that up and you can go back and forth, adjust it. This is your new uh, safety screw. So what that does is it just allows you not to be moving your seat and fall off of it. So like your seat won't shoot out the back and you get ran over by the bush hog. Uh, so, and it gets stopped by these little, uh, little bumps right here, these little mounts. So it's really good and I'll show you the back of it. So this is really nice. Like the back of this one is really nice. And make sure you adjust it, the riding weight for whoever's riding it. So I'm like 190. My dad weighs a little over 200. Um, so we do adjust it a little bit. So it rides a little more comfortable. It gives, if you have it too soft, you'll bottom it out and you won't get no ride on it. Uh, if it's too, if you tighten it too hard, uh, it's a hard, it's a bumpy ride. You have no cushion. So make sure you adjust this to what you, like how much you weigh. And it tells you, like it goes from pounds to kilograms. So if you're 110, 190 to 280. So there's a little, uh, a little bolt in there so when you adjust this you tighten it it goes up it gets stiffer and there's springs in there and what that is doing is it's tightening those springs up so it has less coil in them so if you loosen them it has more coil so y'all know how it works uh but it's it's pretty sturdy i've got everything tight uh there's a little give in it but that's just actually I mean, that's, the other one had the same give in it, so I don't think it's I don't think it's anything different. I've looked at it, make sure it lined up. It's lined up pretty good, but overall, I'm really excited. Uh, it's going to be good, and I think it's going to make for a lot better ride. So, if you don't have one, get one. Uh, it was a track seat, and I got it on eBay. So, and it was here, it was like a two, uh, two day free shipping. So I ordered it Thursday, not, it's Saturday. I got it this morning, FedEx. So pretty good, you're gonna like that. So, and again, here's the old one. I mean, if you leave these things outside, they're gonna rot. I mean, we're in Eastern Kentucky here. We get hot summers. Uh, if you don't keep it covered up, they're going to dry rot. But I thought it was a pretty good deal for $120. You get the whole seat assembly. And it's easy to put on. You Basically, you just put the, the cushion on and the backrest on. And then you can just slide it on your old one. Very easy. So that's really it. Uh, I'm going to put my tools up, get my mess put back up and cleaned up and start uh, mowing and try to weed it a little bit but i appreciate you all for hanging around and uh, please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video y'all have a good one